If you're a guy and you walk up and you're like, hey, so like, I was just like, I don't know, wondering if like, maybe would you, um, <laughs> never mind, and then you run away. Well, what message have you just sent? You don't have the courage to ask her out. You don't have the courage to tell her that that's your, cru that that's your crush. Do you have the courage it's going to take to, to protect and defend her? I mean, if you don't have the courage for that, what areas of life do you also not have the courage in? If you have the courage to step up and, and, and face Medusa, as it were, then you've got the courage probably to protect and defend it. I don't want a future at McDonald's. Maybe that's where you work. It's not about where you are right now. It's about where you want to be. What can you learn in the situation that you presently are? If you're working at McDonald's, what can you learn? A skill that will apply to the future. If your answer is, I, I don't know, then find out because you're there anyway. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. And if you're wasting time, that means you have a deep past, but your, your, your future opportunities are shrinking. The more you can make of your future to, to build up your, so the more that you can make of your present to build up your future, the more that you're expanding those opportunities. So maximize your opportunities. She's not like smearing her poop on the walls of my name and her comments on me that then I don't want her. It's like, you know, it is attractive for someone to be questions, comments. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand that when you're when you're fighting jealousy, you're not just fighting like cultural standards. People say it's just a cultural standard of being possessive. No, it's a it's it's deeper than just that. It's biological. Why is it that 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 a person will be will be like possessive or, or especially jealous or territorial over somebody else because that's your genetic machine that's why if you go back hundreds of thousands of years why is it that i mean look at the animal kingdom why, why do animals get jealous of one another they don't have the same emotions that we have but they do get jealous of other mates why because when we watch it when we watch it in the animal kingdom we say they're 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 competing to pass along their offspring and yet with us we say you know it's just it's you know it's because we have this capitalist mindset that's what makes us jealous no, stupid. It's much deeper than just that. It's biological. You may not think of it as this is the person who, who I've chosen to pass along my genetic material. But that's what it is. It's, a, it's deeply embedded unconsciously. It isn't something that you sit there and think about. But this is one of the reasons if you ask that question, why is it that, that guys are so afraid of, of, of asking a girl out? Because it's not just, oh, what will she say? is why will she say what she says? If she says no, what is she telling you? She's looking you up and down saying, your, gen your genes are not worthy of, of being passed along to the next generation. It's an existential rejection. It's essentially saying, you're not good enough to, to, to exist. Yeah, it really is that deep. There's a reason that the myth of Medusa exists. What happens when someone actually looks at her, she, they turn to stone. Why? Because that's the terror, that's, that's, the, that's the petrification that happens. This is why. I mean, think about this. There, there are men who will, who will more easily go to war than they will ask somebody out. And that's why. It's because of the terror that's involved in it. But then again, how, what, how does that benefit? Well, if you're a guy and you walk up and you're like, hey, so, like, I was just, like, I don't know, wondering if, like, maybe would you, um, <laughs> never mind, and then you run away. Well, what message have you just sent? You don't have the courage to ask her out. You don't have the courage to tell her that that's your, cru that that's your crush. Do you have the courage it's going to take to, to protect and defend her? I mean, if you don't have the courage for that, what areas of life do you also not have the courage in? And that's, that, that's, the, that's the message that's, that's being sent. If you have the courage to step up and, and, and face Medusa, as it were, then you've got the courage probably to protect and defend. And if I ask, um, yesterday I was in a class and they were talking about you know, they're, they asked this question, like, what kind of qualities do, do, do girls want in, in a guy? And it was, I, I, was, I was just watching this class, because well, during my prep period, I go watch other teachers teach. And it was, it was one of the funnier things I've seen in a long time. I didn't say anything. And in short, who was answering that question? It was guys. It's like, really, dude? Shut up. Listen. <laughs> you know, I don't like this whole, like, you're a man. Shut up. No, shut up. But there, it was like a question that was directed. Like, that's the kind of thing you want to take notes on. What kind of things are you looking for in the opposite sex? <laughs> Rather than just spit out your own answer. Like, if you knew, you wouldn't be alone, would you? And yesterday happened to be Valentine's Day. Or that's, that's probably unfair, because maybe you do know, and you're just not those qualities. 
yet. 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 But you could be. You could be if you knew what they were. And it's interesting because the qualities that, that, a, that, they would, that, that are desired are the exact same qualities that are desired in life generally. What do you want? Well, you want somebody who, like, what's the first thing? I'll be curious. Let me see if this happens. This almost always happens. Girls, what quality do you want in a guy? <laughs> just about it. I, 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 want to see, I, just want to see, I, I might be wrong about what, what I think you're going to say. Mentally stable? Stable. <laughs> Mentally stable. I don't want a psychopath. <laughs> oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> Really, then why is Ted Bundy so popular? Why are, why are serial killer oh doctors so popular? Yeah, that's almost always the first one. Funny. You want someone funny. Yeah. And then after that, it usually comes a little bit later on is somebody who's strong and protective. Okay, so you want a clown ninja. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And and it's and then also you know say what you know they'll will be kind of ah, sorry as I just started that sentence I was recalling that yesterday someone told me you know I didn't notice until today that you stutter <laughs> and that was going through my head as I just started stuttering which just like you know extended the stuttering period um, so a clown ninja and then guys will sometimes say they want to just someone who has money. They're, yeah, they're just gold diggers. Of course you want somebody with money. Why? What does money represent? What's that? Stability? <laughs> yeah. Security? Support. 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 Ambition? Drive? Accomplishment? You just want someone who's like ambitious and accomplished and stable, <laughs> secure, <laughs> gold <Yeah>. digger. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want somebody with a with fuzzy hair and a sideways hat? Man, yeah. I got swag though. <laughs> of course you want somebody like that duh it's not just the money like you can, it's not just that they want shiny things but shiny things are nice and if you and if you if you're buying someone shiny things the implication anyway as it should be is that you have everything else taken care of you have all your other bills paid and not even bills but you have all your other investments made as well because you're not someone who's looking at just today, I'm gonna to max out all my credit cards to buy you this shiny thing. Instead, it's, oh, I have some extra money, so I'm gonna buy you this shiny thing. And that extra money, why is that so important? Because that represents a future, a stable future. You can't have a stable future without those things. And this is one of those reasons that people will oftentimes say, I'm looking for someone to build an empire with me. So you don't have an empire. Okay. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, but just understand what it, what it is that's being said. And that's dope if you're trying to build an empire with somebody, you know? Um, like, for example, I mean, think about that. Like, you know, when you're, when you're looking for somebody, if you're thinking that you're just going to, oh, I'm just having fun, I'm just kind of passing time. Are you, though? Because there's a good chance that if you're doing that, you're going to end up with that person for quite a while. And it's worthwhile asking yourself sometimes, if you look across the table, is this, is this a clown ninja? Is this a clown ninja? Is this a person who's going to be, who's going to be, who's going to keep me safe, and could provide, and could this and could that? And we might think, oh, that's so antiquated. Oh, you're right. Three hundred thousand years of human history, but we have figured it out in the past fifteen years how things should be. And now look around society. How are things looking? Mm -hmm. Bang up job we've done so far, right? With all of that. Smile. You're now famous. Yeah. Have things gotten better? Things gotten worse? You tell me. I'll let you figure that out. So, we have to stop trying to reduce things to their constituent components. Meaning, like for example, I was listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson. He was talking about kissing. And he said, kissing, if you think about it, it's just two people who are exchanging saliva. It's like, no, no. I mean, I don't know, Neil, tell me you're bad with women without telling me that you're bad with women. I guess if he, I guess if he didn't think that way, he wouldn't have so many sexual harassment complaints against him, huh? Hey, call it what it is. But why does, he, why does he reduce it to his constituent components? Because, probably because he's bad with other people. He's just bad at human relationships. That's his personality type. It isn't just exchanging of saliva, it's symbolic. It's deeper than that, it means more than just that. 
Why is it that you want somebody who's funny? There's a reason for it. It's not just because they make you laugh and that makes you, and that makes you, um, uh, that makes you, makes you happy. It's also because a person with a sense of humor is a person who's relaxed in life. Senses of humor generally indicate some level of confidence. You can laugh at things. You're not, think, you're not taking things extremely seriously because you're not worried about them. But you also don't, if you remember the Aristotle's doctrine of the mean, you also don't want the person who takes things so unseriously that they fail to, to, to do the basic things of, of providing and securing and, and taking care and stability. In other words, you don't want a person who's like, ah, who cares about the future? But you want somebody who's so secure in themselves and so secure in the future that they're able to sit back and laugh. And that's a luxury. Like being able to buy shiny things should be a luxury. If you max out your credit cards and buy the shiny thing, then you're on the wrong side of that doctrine of the mean. If you, if you laugh at life so much that you fail to take the, the, basic, you know, the basic steps to have a stable life, you're on the wrong side of that doctrine of the mean. And so we have to think about things at their symbolic level. And, we're, and if there's something that's important to you in the opposite sex, or actually whatever, in a, in a partner, if there's something that, that's, that's important to you in a partner, you don't feel like, oh, I, I, is it superficial of me to think that? Maybe, but that's you. But probably not, because it probably represents something more. It's not just that a person is rich. It's that a person therefore has goals and ambitions and accomplishments and stability and security. It's more than just that. So now that should tell us something. If you want a better choice of, of mates, so therefore what do you do? You behave in such a way that you can provide security, stability, and all of these things that, that are attractive to other people. And then, like I said, a weird thing happens. If you, live in, if you live your life in such a way that you're able to provide security and stability, your life just goes much better. Even if, you don't, you know, even if you're not with a person, your life is just going better. And so when we say things like, oh, I'm, I'm focusing on myself, you should always be developing yourself Developing yourself means that you have an eye on the future, a place where you want to go, a place where you want to be, and that you're always taking steps to get there. Because if you're always taking steps to get there, you're getting further and further and closer to the goal, and then surprise, surprise, you're more attractive to people. Not just, not just romantically, although that will happen, but just people generally. If you're a person who, if, even if you're at a minimum wage job right now, it's just your first job, take those steps towards, towards, towards getting better you know, and towards your future. Do you have a, a responsibility to make another person feel secure? Maybe. Whether it's a responsibility or not, it will be a responsibility. If you have a family someday, yes, you have that responsibility, 100%. What are you gonna do when something goes wrong? You're gonna look for the adult in the room every time? You're gonna call the cops if something bad happens? Eventually, sure, but in the moment? Are you going to try to find somebody who can solve the problem for you regardless of what it is? Or are you gonna be that person who can stand upright, take responsibility, and, and, project, and project yourself forward in a way that exudes a confident ability to provide security and stability? You know, it's too often we chastise people for wanting stability. Of course you want stability. Now, if you're a person who wants a chaotic life, there are, there are people out there who want a chaotic life, but it's going to be a chaotic relationship. Chaotic relationships, by their very nature, don't last because they're not stable. And so the things that are important to you are the things that are important to you, but don't just dismiss them. Don't reduce them to their constituent parts. Find out what they symbolically represent so that you can build yourself up in that way. Because I think I've asked you guys before, like, 
what's so lovable about you? And we say, oh, everyone deserves to be loved. Why? Like, what's so lovable about you? Everybody wants to be loved. Maybe everybody needs it to be completely self-fulfilled, but it isn't true that everybody deserves it. What have you done to deserve it? That's like saying everybody deserves an A. Well, what have you done to, to earn it? So you have to earn love? Duh. If you didn't, then you'd be obligated to, to fall in love with anybody who talks to you. That person earlier we are talking about who just kind of comes up and is like, I'm in love with you. Well, I don't love you. Well, too bad. I deserve to be loved, so let's go. Those, those days are long gone, man. And so you find, you know, you, you develop yourself. And if you develop yourself, which you have a responsibility to do anyway since you're here, but if you develop yourself, then you, what you'll find is that you will be somebody who's, who's worthy of being loved. And then, surprise, surprise, people will love you. And that might be the problem that we're getting at earlier with the person who's desperate. Because if you're desperate to be loved, then that means that, that, that and if that's your goal, then that means you'll probably go with whoever loves you. And that means you're probably a person who's prone to, 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 to cheating. Because if all you're seeking is, is a person to love you, then you'll be kind of be infatuated with everybody who loves you. And if you're a person who's worthy of love, how many people are going to love you? Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And now that comes down to your character. Are you a person who can commit yourself to one person? That's your character. So maybe that's for another time. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, critiques? Yeah.